Hi everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your prenatal yoga standing flow workout. So in this workout, we're gonna do some yoga inspired moves. As you know, for pregnancy, we have to modify a little bit. So they may not be exactly what you see in a yoga class, but some prenatal yoga moves to lengthen, stretch and loosen up those muscles that get tight and sometimes even a little bit painful during pregnancy. We'll do it all from a standing position on the mat. Your shoes can be on or off. As always, please make sure that you have been cleared by a doctor for exercise before you do this or any other workout during pregnancy. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we are going to start just standing on the mat. So I'll just remind you, as always, listen to your body in this and all your workouts when you're pregnant and just in general. If anything feels like too much, just don't do it. We're gonna keep it pretty gentle. It's more just about getting everything lengthened and stretched and moving. I know for me, this second pregnancy, I've had a lot more tightness and even some pain and the stretching in the yoga has been really helpful for me. So we're just gonna start just feet about shoulder width apart and just start just by getting focused on your breath. We're gonna do some of those belly breaths that I've talked about before. So hands on your belly, just inhale, expand through your lungs. As you exhale, pull that deepest layer, transverse abdominis, TA, in towards your body, up in and around like you're hugging your baby in. And again, big inhale, exhale. And as you're pulling that baby in on the exhale, let's think about also doing a Kegel, pulling those pelvic floor muscles up and in. Light, gentle connection, not squeezing too tight. Pull the lower abs in, transverse abdominis and pull up gently with that Kegel one more time. So remember those throughout your day. Just get them when you can. Let's take our feet a little bit wider. We're going to do a big inhale up, big reach, hands together, exhale down in front. Big inhale up and out. So we're keeping a soft bend in the knees. Inhale up. So we're not locking out. Big reach. Exhale. One more time. Inhale up. And this time let's fold it over. So bend your knees to do it and just let your upper body hang. So toes are forward. Gentle bend, it's up to you. Even if you only get to here, if you can get to the floor, just relax through your upper body and let your head drop into it. And then slowly roll up your spine. Big inhale up. Exhale, palms down in front. Same thing again. Inhale up. Exhale, let's fold it over, hinge at the hips, bend at the knees, hold for a couple counts, and then slowly roll it up. One more time, just like that. Inhale up. I know sometimes exhale down, we can get a little dizzy during pregnancy, so if that makes you a little dizzy, just stay up with these gentle breaths. You can stay up and keep it here or fold it over on the exhale. We just want to lengthen in the spine, get a little stretch. And if you can from here, just lift the heels one at a time. Breathe. And then slowly roll it up. One more time. Roll it back. Let's take one arm up, fold it over, and just reach. And up through the center, reach. Other side, reach. And bend, moving laterally. We're not twisting in the torso. Back to center. And down, both hands up. Scoop them up. Center, scoop them down, scoop them 
up and over back to center and take it down. Let's take our feet a little bit wider and we're gonna turn one toe out, just leaning into a little bit of that warrior pose, leaning into it, just opening up the hip, stretching through. And let's take our arms up and over. So again, not your traditional yoga flow. As you guys know from my channel, that's not my main thing, although I do enjoy yoga and do it when I can. And then if you can, take your hand down and just reach it over gently. But also in prenatal yoga, we are modifying a lot of these moves to fit pregnancy. Fold it up and over, gentle lean back, straightening the legs. And then take it forward, arms out, leaning, opening up the hips, arm down, gently lean it over. And then we'll take it back. Lean back. And let's turn into our mat just a bit. So we're in a little bit of a straddle position. So I just want you to lean into it here so we're opening up more of that hip flexor. So it's totally fine to stay right here. You're gonna get that stretch. You can even push the heel down in the back if that feels okay. If you can and it feels okay, we're gonna drop it down onto the knee. I know that might not be comfortable for everybody, so feel free to stay up. You can from here, we're just gonna lean forward into it. It's gonna give you a little bit of a stretch in that hip and hip flexor. Let's bring those arms up. And then we're gonna scoop those arms down and lengthen in that front leg. So again, I know that's hard to do for some of us, so just do the best you can. You can stay upright as well. Scoop them up and lean into it. And if you're up on your feet, just move through the motion of the arms. And take it back. Little hamstring stretch, pull the toe towards you. And we'll go one more time. Lean forward. And then scoop it back. Take it here. So watch me here, I'm gonna move my hands forward. Take the toe underneath, move the foot back, and then just slowly scoop it up. Let's take it forward, arms out. Relax those shoulders down. Let's turn to that other side. So other toe forward, opening up that hip and taking it out into that warrior position. Leaning into it here, opening out, lengthen through the arms hand down in front, reach it over, fold a big stretch, and then lengthen up, reach it through, and back. We can even lean a little bit. If you want to bend that leg, it makes it a little more comfortable for you, it's up to you. And then take it back up and through, leaning here, down, reach it over, and then take it back, and reach it back, and then let's turn into our lunge position, feet nice and wide, find your balance, pull that baby towards you, and just lean into it here, opening up that hip flexor, you can feel free to stay here, and just move the arms up and down. Or if you want, drop it down to that knee on the mat. Come forward just a bit, leaning into that hip and hip flexor. Big reach up. And then let's take it down, lengthen into the legs. Pull the toe towards you to get the hamstring. Big reach up, leaning forward. And then drop it down. up and take it here and 
let's take our foot forward and come back up slowly slowly bring it out so let's keep those feet let's take them forward arms out fold it down and if you can place those fingertips on the ground you can bend the knees and we're just going to take our hips side to side again if you're dealing with a little bit of dizziness as sometimes happens you can do the same thing up top just kind of moving through the hip think of it as side lunge to side lunge but if you can keep it low really lengthen and then let's walk our feet in and slowly roll up our spine one more time a little bit of that chair pose big inhale set back into the hips you don't have to go super low i know that you know that's not super easy in pregnancy and scoop it up and breathe up and sit and up and just one more time i know feels like a squat right breathe and sit gentle rolls through the shoulders and to the front there we go and let's just go big deep breath in link those arms at the top pull gently over to your right and over to your left down by your side and let's just take a minute to get a little neck stretch we tend to hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders so I just want you to relax the shoulders neutral spine but good posture and let your head drop down to one side just very gently if you want to add a hand to give you a little stretch you can but gentle pull breathe into that Let's take the head down to the front, not pulling, just letting it lengthen. And then take it over to the other side, letting it drop. Gentle pull if you want to take that hand. center and bring it up and let's put the hands on our belly one more time and let's finish with a few more of those belly breaths those deep ta breaths while we do a kegel inhale expand through the rib cage exhale pull that deep deep layer towards your body hugging your baby up in and around and pulling up gentle connection with our pelvic floor and the kegel Keep going at your own pace. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Big deep breath in. Palms up front. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale up. And exhale. You did it. That was your prenatal yoga standing flow. Great job, everybody.